What if the most productive employees are those who've mastered the art of doing less? Welcome to the phenomenon known as quiet quitting. This is not about resignation letters or dramatic exit interviews. Instead, it's a subtle shift in attitude and behavior seen in employees across the globe, a silent rebellion against the status quo. Quiet quitting is when an employee disengages from their work, reducing their effort and productivity, but without formally resigning. They remain in their roles, but their motivation, enthusiasm, and commitment take a back seat. It's like a car engine running on idle. There's movement, but no real progress. Why does this happen? Often it's the result of employees feeling undervalued, overworked, or simply disconnected from their work. It's the silent response to a lack of recognition, a shortage of meaningful tasks, or a toxic work environment. The effects of quiet quitting are far reaching. It can lead to a significant drop in productivity and morale within a team. The quality of work may decline and the overall company performance can suffer. It's like a slow leak, difficult to detect, but over time the impact can be devastating. But what does this mean for the future of work? Well, it's a wake-up call for organizations, a silent signal that it's time to listen to their employees, to value their contributions, and to create an environment where people want to engage, not disengage. It's also a reminder for employees that they have the power to set boundaries and reclaim their workplace sanity. Quiet quitting isn't just about doing less. It's about demanding more, more recognition, more meaningful work, and more respect. In conclusion, quiet quitting is a silent epidemic in our workplaces. It's a response to overwork and undervaluation, a symptom of a deeper issue within our work culture. Its effects are subtle but significant, impacting productivity and morale. But it's also a call to action. For organizations, it's a prompt to listen, value and engage their employees. For individuals, it's a reminder of their power to set boundaries and demand better. Quiet quitting isn't just a trend. It's a signal of the changing landscape of work, a harbinger of the future. So as we navigate this new terrain, remember doing less may just be the key to achieving more. Ever feel like you're just faking it at work? Well, you're not alone. Let's talk about quiet quitting, the hidden epidemic in workplaces. It's not just a Gen Z fad, it's a trend that's shaking up the corporate world. Join the conversation and find out the truth behind why employees are setting boundaries and reclaiming their sanity. It's time to thrive in the new work landscape. Are you ready to join the revolution? Let's do this.